Hello, I just got set up here with my new uh, the iTouch MIDI on the iPhone here. It's an 8x8 uh, grid and I can play just by moving my fingers. Here. switch it over to the drum track just using a garage band here uh, to play around with this yeah I'll put this up so I can see what I'm doing and uh, the software has uh, the ability to uh, enable you to have two iPhone controllers or iPod touches and be able to play. I just have it set up wirelessly through my old G4 here uh, and I'm just running a couple different tracks in GarageBand here. One thing, I, well I'm going to do a little improv here. I'm going to get rid of the uh, organ track that I put in. So right now in my GarageBand I have a drum kit that I laid in or brought in from a loop and I have the, the rock organ here. So let's record a little jam. Send it back to the beginning. Real time. A little uh, chance aleatoric fun there. Go back and play it back. Listen to it. So the, the input and the response is quite fine. I don't really notice much of a lag at all. I'm going to flip back over here and go launch it again. And there it shows up, my computer on the network and I have a choice of an XY controller here which I don't have mapped to GarageBand yet but you can move that in 3D and control continuous controllers in uh, MIDI. And go back here, go back up here uh, you can choose a 4x4 layout uh, which maybe we can use with special ed setting where you don't have as much dexterity you only have uh, 16 options but that could be cool depending on the setting or you can go back to the 8x8, eight eight, which I showed you, or just a direct keyboard layout. So when I lay in, a, I'm going to delete my uh, organ part there. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Let's just play in a little uh, keyboard part here. 